Okay, let's see what is here. Uh, there's a thing, there's that, there's two water bottles. When we start, let's grab the mask and the gun first. There's a med kit. There you go, we can grab one more thing. Okay. What is that? Why, why does it make the sound twice? Grab! So, briefcase. Shit! Uh, I haven't even gra grabbed food. Uh, map. I need the flashlight, but I need food now. Shit. Oh my goodness. This is not going well. Actually, I need to grab people. Uh, water bottle. Okay, next I'm gonna grab the Loras. I'm running out of time. I will not be able to get everyone. Oh, shit. I need to grab the Loras. I don't have cans of soup. Uh, we're gonna starve. I seriously didn't grab any soup. I don't have time. I grabbed no soup. Oh my god, okay. I think this is gonna be a very first round, home sweet home. We got an achievement, let's go. Wow, okay, so I don't think I grabbed any soup, which is very bad. This is gonna be, this is a, shit. I struggled so hard, I wanted to get the, we got one can of soup. We got, a, we got some stuff, we got some stuff, let's go. So what is here, soup? So we can just feed them here. Uh, should be outside unavailable. Um, oh, we grabbed two cans of soup. Okay, let's go. And then it's uh, what to do. So what is this? We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. The fan noise here is bad enough. Wait a second. Where's Timmy? We left Timmy. Our shelter used to be re fully stocked. But somehow we always found a better way to use the stock supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed the rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fight against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. Okay, so we were already stocked, let's go. Well, looky here, one of the must, must have uh, hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. It was so lucky that uh, we took that suitcase. So we got a harmonica. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet. But even canned soup might become an extravagant, extravagant dish quite soon. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ra 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 ration it strictly. I can't read tonight. This is the best stocked shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one. Uh, but we're but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Oh my god. I'm struggling to read. My bad, guys. Just switching off the fan. Okay, so now we go through this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It stops surviving in the conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. So I don't know what different kind of scenarios is going to happen in 60 seconds reatomized. So let's see. Next day, I'm guessing. Okay. I, this this is the first playthrough I ever did I ever did right where I got the map Let's see we're trying our best to remain calm the situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it We hope that the help comes soon Ted is fine Mary Jane is worried or at least she's not saying so out loud Okay, so this is where everyone is fine um, So I don't have to feed anyone Let's definitely go outside, hopefully to get some food. And we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that the behind that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Uh, yeah, listen to it. Why not? Nothing bad can come from not listening to it, you know? Let's see. Day three. This is actually very exciting since it's a more updated version. We were all, we were relieved at first when we figured out what it wasn't the Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians. So it's kind of like one of the other playthroughs I did. So Ted is really thirsty. Sorry I'm not reading that, but it wasn't really anything. And it's disappointing. Water is what Mary Jane needs right now. So everyone's thirsty. That's fine. I have enough bottles for everyone. And I'm sorry I didn't get Timmy. We are sending out in the, with... 
in 60 seconds every time we send the Laura's out, she never comes back. So we're gonna send Ted out with a mask. Don't know what he will find, but let's see. And he's gonna be gone. This is not day four. I'm guessing he'll he'll be back day seven. Let's see. Okay. Ted it for the surface. We'll help him be back. Uh, no longer thirsty. Oh, that's nice. They tell us they're no longer thirsty. That's new. Time to ration supplies. No one wants anything. Good news, everyone. The government just announced that they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area, finally. They're useful for, some, uh, for something. We should head out to get those crates as soon as possible. Oh my god, really? The moment I took them, take the mask, it's... We can't go. That's just bogus. Survive five days in your fallout shelter. Okay. Prepper. Why did I grab this? It was too dangerous to go out with in, uh, there without without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. There's there isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane and Dolores is quite well. Okay, these are going fast. So a few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by a professional and very cool cat rat catcher. Why use this? Why use that to like survive? Break or use something in your fallout shelter. All thumbs. Okay, another achievement. Let's go. We decided to spray the hell out of the, that vent just to be on the safe side. Turned out it was just the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out, followed by a gush, a gust of fresh air. We should get Mary Jane to something to drink, and the lures remain the thirsty for long. Okay, so they're all thirsty. That's fine. I love the fact. Hold up. I love the fact that the water now goes like this instead of like this. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here. So how is bullets gonna help her? Am I missing something? Like, do I do I personally not know? Ted should not be back. He should be back the next day. I am hopefully correct. She looks terrible. <laughs> okay. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill them? What? Uh, dirty smell. Okay, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food, and they're no longer thirsty, but they're they are hungry. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell out from the ear, re revealing what what. So, when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. Might be the cat. Is the cat still in this game? That's the... That's the phone across the street. They kept a lot of stuff the same. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and shot body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat, sorry guys, my throat is itching, uh, who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. So we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserted that much. We got a can of soup! Woo! Jeez, I needed that. Mary Jane is no longer hungry and they're no longer hungry. Let's go! Holy shit! Wait, why is that there? What's next? Ring ring! There we were, thinking we could never hear a telephone single again. Signal. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? No. I would like to say yes, but no. I'm not sending out someone to get swept away, I would really like to see everyone make it. Day 9. He's still not back. Please don't tell me he's not uh, He's not coming back. It's way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. Okay, everyone has to drink sometime. So Mary is thirsty and she's thirsty. The water is slightly going quicker than the food. 
We've, we felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off. Uh, while we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. We're using everything in the shelter before like any raids happen. It's so early in the game. I will survive. Hey, Terra's back. Did he bring a can of food? I don't see anything. He brought cards. The mask is finished. We figured the best way to be sure nothing and no one jumps uh, us inside the mysterious room was to patch the door open and start firing. When the smoke was gone, we were able to uh, assess our operation. The room was empty. We hit nothing but the walls and we barely dodged one ricochet gone bad. So they shot the bullet? For what? Terra safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Yes. We tried our luck at a nearby bar, fittingly called the World's End. Usually a, usually such a respectable family like our own would never go there, but this time we gave it a shot hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Who would have known that the tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in a bar? We found a few cans of it and took it with us. We got a can of soup and two bottles of water. I'm not even going to read it. I am so happy. Holy shit. <laughs> Whatever we found wasn't pure and it wasn't water, but hey, if it quenches the first, it counts. From what we could tell, the atomic blast interrupted the poker game. Those poor bosses are not likely to be finishing the game anytime soon, but we still can use their cards to detain ourselves. Playing cards and then this got damaged. Shit. This last expedition got us thinking maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Oh, of course! Mo most of the automobiles automobiles available or what completely burnt out but if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts perhaps we could build a vehicle for our own we'd better keep an eye out for those uh, on future expeditions dead stomach is rumbling so he's hungry and tired not thirsty hungry not, no longer thirsty okay i'll give you food and i'll give you food we're making it are we gonna send someone out? How about we put that radio to good use, okay? And then make contact with other wastelanders. I've never seen this. Are we gonna send someone out? Let's send out the girl. They don't usually take the girl. We are surviving, we're doing well in my opinion. I mean, we just keep gathering food. Okay, once we had ha once had we waded through all the static, jeez, that's hard to read. We found a transmission that was hosted by some nut talking about conspir conspiracies and sorts of men from Mars, Abduct abducting people. How this is so hard to read, or I'm just like dumb and I'm strong here. It was pretty amusing. Ted is hungry, still tired, um, and. So, hungry and thirsty. Nothing. Uh, nothing. No one is nothing. Hungry, thirsty. Who are we sending out? Not Dolores. We go with you. Take the briefcase. Why not? <laughs> this is going better because we just keep finding food and stuff. Okay, it's the... The parents sent out the daughter to go and scavenge stuff. Bad parents. Bad parenting. Um, hungry. Not thirsty. So, Dolores wants everything. And he's hungry. What is the point of getting the food supplies and stuff? If they're just if he's just gonna like use it all. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter even ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something, something, or someone. Started the fire, or someone started the fire, and it's already spreading. We can't save anything or everything. I can't read tonight. I'm sorry. I <laughs> what do we save from the flames? Fuck. Screw that. I'm surviving this. How did- hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How did the map not burn? Drugs! Get the drugs! 
That was our first thought. And we were able to secure the med kit before it was burned to ashes. But the fire grew quickly and damaged other supplies. We need to go through our stuff and see what's fine and what's not. Mm, still needs energy and no longer hungry, no longer thirsty. Nice. Good. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the hellish situation in our government, you can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except at one time when we... Never mind! The government people are coming and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any signal from them. We have no way to, to hear from them now. That's about two weeks. What has changed except for hunger and thirst? If there's something we need uh, to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's tro strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Uh, slightly. Still mighty tired. Uh, thirsty. And then Dolores is in a good mood today. Okay. Thirsty. What was that? A rat! Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Jesus. We're using all the shit inside. We haven't even gotten raided. Everything is blown to shit, literally. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still uh, top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, a gun blew up. We tried to shoot the thing. Uh, Ted is, isn't thirsty anymore. And he's hungry. And Dolores is thirsty. Damn, guys, chill out. Alert! There's a gang of firefighters outside. I have nothing! Or at least they are dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out of the fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of firefighter Firefighter has somewhat changed recently. How do we oppose them? Ah, this is the end. This is the end. Make contact with other wastelanders. Acquire radio. Frick! We can't protect ourselves. Everything is gone. They left us with two soup cans, one water bottle. That's fine. That's fine. The invaders burst into our shelter like a violent tidal wave and immediately went for one thing that was of the greatest value to them. Water. And he's tired. No longer hungry. No longer thirsty. But she's hungry. Okay, they didn't take that much, so it's fine. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and we were greeted by two men dressed like they came from a medieval fair. I have heard the same thing from the from previous playthroughs. Blah! We identified the source of the sound. Uh, one of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they were looking for some antique cup, but they got lost. And they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. They're just gonna steal it, and if we don't show it, they're gonna like steal everything. Bye map! This has been going so... We still have the map! Oh. What about this? Whoa, look at this dude's air! It looks like a toupee. They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us by uh, and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on our quest. We got a lock. Let's go! Ted is still tired. Really thirsty. No longer hungry. Okay. Thirsty. Shit, we're running out of water. It's been a while we don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune into the emergency radio. No radio. This is very difficult. Day 18. Yes, she's back. Soup cans, baby. But nothing else. What the hell did I send her with again? <clears throat> they say there's this blitz another day without any clue what's going on. Oh, the suitcase. Not necessarily kill us. 
nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary J uh, Jane returning to the shelter. A few days before the blast, Timmy got into a fight with a kid named Ethan and beat him with a stick. We were supposed to visit Ethan's parents and talk about the incident, but we were a bit busy back then. Well, now we have all the time in the world, and although it looked like our, uh, our friends weren't home, we still decided to pay them a visit. We were invited, after all. These people were obsessed with tomato soup. We saw many cats in their ruined kitchen most of them were damaged and all the tomato goodness has leaked out but some survived <laughs> two cans baby we window sh window shopped nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burnt out unfortunately we found nothing of value maybe future expeditions will be more lucky ted is still tired no longer thirsty quite hungry really tired and water for dolores okay so Mary Jane's really tired and she's hungry. So, Mary Jane, hungry? No, wait. Hungry and she's thirsty. Thirsty and hungry. Okay, we need water. We'll definitely send out the Loras now. Schedule expedition for tomorrow. What is this one now? Acquire a radio. So those are the stuff we need to get. Okay, I like, I like that. We thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. So let's send someone out to go and answer it because we have no way to deal with like not hearing from outside. Bye, Ted. <laughs> he looks roughed up. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gospel reading from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We ha uh, so, uh, so something happened on their end. Cut short. There you go. Read it already. Uh, Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Has rested. Very thirsty. Mary Jane needs everything. Ted has rested. Dolores is no longer thirsty. So she just needs the whole shebang. I'm running out of resources. Who shall we send out? The other two is not really that hungry or thirsty. They're fine. Shall we send her out again? Why not? Uh, she might not make it back. Oh, Monica. Are we going to send out Monica? Sure. I don't know what we do with that, Monica. I don't know why I always take it. Stay in your shelter for 20 days. Let's go. The toupee is growing. <laughs> okay. Mary Jane went outside. Uh, where is water when Ted needs it? And Dolores has not eaten for a while. Easy peasy. Running low on water. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought that the raids would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it for, uh, on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part. Of course! However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. With what? With what? Day 21. Three weeks. Nothing new. The Loras actually still looks like in good shape. This guy looks like damn. If there's a one thing we need to do to use a radio on a base, uh, regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area, it's either that or it's strolling around outside. Hungry? Shit. She is thirsty. Last drop of water. Life in the shell can really put a strain on a personal relationship. Privacy is forgotten. Impossible concept. Now, so, so even if you wanted to clear the air, well, even the most private conversations are guaranteed an unwanted audience. So the Russian re could really use a quiet moment to talk in peace. How about a picnic in the nearby park? Maybe this will take some days off. Let's go. You do your boo. There's a knock. All right, they're back. They're happy. Nothing like a romantic outing. Uh, at least that's how Ted remembers it. They share the kind of food. No longer hungry and no longer hungry. That was needed. We don't have water. You want? You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet here we are at someone's door. We. When we went to open it up, we encountered a strange looking man in a, a blue jumpsuit who asked to trade him a water jump. I think if you do that, you get a lot of water and I don't have water, so that's bad. He might just ransack us now. 
nothing happened. We were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a, short, a few short words and left. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far and Ted is really thirsty. Shit! We were closed off, closed off in a tiny shelter uh, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for uh, desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins in the local retirement home. We're gonna go rob them. And this will help us survive. Let's go. Let's fucking go. The dark side. Show your evil side. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. She looks terrible. She got a flashlight and a book. We got water, we got soup cans, we are saved, guys, we are saved! We went, got what we needed and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. One book, nothing made us happy than the sight of Mary Jane returning with her harmonica. <laughs> so we got a book, harmonica, a pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave, but we went between the wrecks to explore it anyway. Under the burned remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Let's go. Um, these water, uh, those bottles were not in the best state, but their contents looked perfectly drinkable. And then there was a really nice motorbike standing in a bit to the side next to the car wrecks, or rather, it should be nice. There's not much left in it now. Upon inspecting the bags uh, attached to the bike, we found a working flashlight. That's huge. Hungry. Tired. Fatigue, ill. Uh, Medkit, here we go. But she was tired before we sent her out, so no longer hungry and he's thirsty. Everyone's thirsty, so. And hungry. And meds. Bada boom, bada bing. And then let's send someone out again. Our last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked just down the street. It, w it sure looked unique, but we never got close enough to get a good look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps we should send someone over to check it out. Not her. I'm never sending her out because every time I send her out, she just gets like missing. Bless you. <laughs> she should be f uh, better now. A shocking discovery, it was a rusty tank. It was a little crispy around the edges and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts, but the seats were fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave the radioactive hell behind us? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Food! Just food. Ted is, isn't Thursday anymore. So food. Foodie. Okay, so everyone food. Food, afford. Easy. Easy peasy. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Which one of us is best fit to, to face the wasteland and survive? Bye, Ted. Let's send him with the... Um... Actually, let's send him with that. How is this actually gonna like end? We have no way to be contacted by the government. Wow. Ted left. No longer hungry, has rested, no longer hungry. Shortest like day of ever. The sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulders paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one time deal. Let me guess, he wouldn't allow us to look inside. Gave us an angry look every time we t uh, took a step forward. Are we gonna pay the can to end up with the cat again? I know we're getting the cat. Day 26. Make contact with other wastelanders. Await further instructions from friendly wastelanders. Acquire radio. Shit. How many cans do we have? I'm not going to sacrifice it for a cat. Sorry, Sh uh, uh, Sharikov. Um, we're not getting a cat this time. Day 27. No cat. Our grandparents were, told, were always told us to never buy anything sight and anything sight unseen and we're not about to start now gone are the times of yard sales we can manage without w whatever junk is in that mysterious bag water is what she needs and has to drink so they both want water 
The game is... Woo! As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to eventually uh, leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety. Instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation, our hope is that we are brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to a wall hidden. We don't have a radio, so this is problematic. The only thing I can do is hopefully they survive, don't get sick. Um, Ted comes back with food and hopefully a better radio. If there's any one thing that uh, we need to do is to use a radio on a regular basis. I never should have gotten rid of that, but Mary Jane should uh, would have perished. Uh, food, no longer thirsty. It's becoming tough. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remembered him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in the return. I don't care to know, dude. I just want to survive. Maybe I should actually say yes to most of these things to see what happens. I don't know. As a rule, we don't trust the door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, especially ones who attempt treason. We told him to go back to whatever plant he dropped to earth from. He got angry and stormed off, mumbling something about how our souls are going to be devoured by alien Lord Yontar. Who the hell is Yontar? Poor guy, he seemed very confused. Mary Jane is no longer hungry and has not eaten for a while. So Dolores is hungry. Woo! This is getting difficult. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. That's actually my mom's name. Biological mom. She lives in the country, so there is a good chance she's still uh, configuring her cow counting machine and it's not worrying about nukes raining down on her house. Hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? We put some photos uh, into books a while ago after the giant coffee spilled incident. Are we gonna use the book now? Day 30. Well, damn, ladies. We knew it! We found a photo between the pages of our scout handbook. Those handbooks are really handy, that's for sure. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking all day about it. Sometimes I read and I forget, I like completely miss what I'm reading. Uh, water and she is no longer hungry, but she's thirsty. The water is about to be used up, guys. Come on. Oh, shit. I don't know. Any of those. Now it's, now this is survival. There's a knock on the door. This is now survival, guys. Stop knocking. Although the girls are very brave to walk around the wasteland like that, sadly they didn't have anything of interest to us, so we declined their offer. They wished us a nice day and left. No longer thirsty, nice. Cool. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital. I can't give you anything. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. Is that an H O? It's not H2O, it's HO2, I don't know. Or HO, I don't know. Jeez, we can't give anyone anything. Oh, you return. What did you bring? You brought bullets, no gun, from what I can see. Uh, he brought an axe, which is all right, okay. What is the scam? They're not even real doctors. No way we're giving uh, these crooks anything. Ted has safely returned. We set, a, set off on an expedition to the nearby zoo where we used to visit on weekends. We're happy to report that it was a productive supply run. As well as educational trip. Let's go. We saw pterodactyls, chimpanzees, a porcupine. What? <laughs> a small army of cat roaches, and other majestic creatures that have emerged amongst the, among the post-nuclear fauna. Between the East Asian and Australian sections, we found some cute pandaroos. Some had I items stashed in their pouches and they didn't e seem to mind us borrowing a few things. We got bullets. Running away from humongous tarantulaptors, we made our escape through the zoo souvenir shop. Most of it was torn to shreds by the bomb, but a few useful things were still lying around an axe. Christmas! Our flashlight is out of service. 
after that expedition. Ah, as we get something, we lose something. Hungry, tired, fatigued, became infected with something. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food, and Dolores is quite calm given the situation. So food, food. No water. Guys, I think this is it. Let's send out Dolores for the last thing. Someone paid us a visit today. It was a... Uh, oh, we can get a radio. Let's do it. I'm not even going to think. I'm not even going to think anything. I'm not even going to read it. We got a radio. We're going to switch on the radio. Let's do it. We managed to work out a deal. The woman also gave us some tips about surviving in the wasteland, but her advice seems pretty useless. We already know that radiation is dangerous and that hitting a rat with a stick will eventually kill it. We thanked her and said our goodbyes. Rumbling! La 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 la! All Ted wishes for a few drops of water, which I might have. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Water is all she wants. Uh, shit! Everyone wants water and I'll give it to you. Bye, Dolores. I think it's her time. She hasn't gone once. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Shit. Dolores is on her way. Hungry. Mary Jane just keeps fainting. We really need to find her. Shit. No water. Hungry. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can... Alright, come on. Sorry, I'm not reading it, guys. I've read it in my previous rounds. We could do it on our own. Uh, this is just to switch on the radio to signal. For, or am I just completely wrong? Let me actually read it. Uh, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from, from, from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought that the raids would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We, we could do it on our own. Uh, the escaping part, not the ruining part. So this is not for the government. This will help. Okay. Shit. This game is coming to an end. And I've done nothing with the map. We made contact. The military's out there and coming. Uh, they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was specific about, about this. Help us on the way. We just need to wait for the further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Hungry. Coughing, coughing. Still tired. Uh, fainting. Need to drink fast. Hungry. The wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door. Knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot for, de for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? At this point, I'll trade anything and hopefully get water. Uh, she got taken. We lost Mary Jane! Ah! Our visitor was happy to get some ammunition in return. He offered us rations. It wasn't much. Uh, but something is always better than nothing. So we got a can of food. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Um, so he's really thirsty and isn't hungry. When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she, get, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over and over... Uh, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and, and that she's getting her water one way or another. We're seriously terrified right now. Frick! He's not hungry, he's just thirsty. Open in the name of freedom, came a shouting voice from outside of the door. We weren't sure who came to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces himself like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should be open, you know what, day 36, let's open it in the name of freedom and hopefully, <laughs> let's see what happens. Are we going to be ransacked? Are we going to die? Is this the end? I don't see anything really happening, but this guy's about to die. Opening the door revealed a group of armed teenagers, possibly high school students. Contrary to what we expected, they were very friendly and requested to know if we've seen any raids nearby. We couldn't help them. When they found out we were not armed, they were kind to leave us a spare rifle. Hey, look at that. It paid off. It's still sick, tired, and he just needs to rest. Uh, one foot in the grave, you just need a drink right now, which I don't have. 
We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open it? Yes, I'm open to anything right now. Otherwise, it's the end. I'm waiting for it to say it's the end. This dude has been- WE GOT WATER! What? A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gave us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. It looks like he's just drink. Uh, not recovered. Uh, tired. Hungry. So everything. Please don't die on me after I got that. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in the fallout shelter was the trumpet. It was someone playing the trumpet that doesn't know how to play it or has never heard of someone playing it. Am I right? In his life, he came with a friend who knocked on the door, demanded that we uh, let the merman enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Last time I said no, should you let them in? We're letting in. We're letting everyone in. You are all welcome. Please don't take my water. Please don't take my water. Hey, we got more water. The law. Oh God. The Loris is. So those travelers took our fucking radio and map. We're not getting saved. We're just now playing until we die from what I can see. We got water, we got soup cans, we got spray. Those merry men were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich and we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We were glad to see the Lords come back safely from the wasteland. Our house is in ruins. We still haven't paid the mortgage. What? Why would you pay the mortgage? No need to worry about that now. Is there? The least we could do was pick through. Whatever is left and see if there are any useful items. Maybe one of Timmy's comic books survived. So we got two cans of soup and two cans of water. Okay. Uh, the muddy swamp, which used to be our toilet, is now home to something that remotely resembles a mutated turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> After exchanging a few pleasantries, it gave us anti-bug spray and wished us all the best of luck. Okay. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. That uh, uh, Hasn't recovered. They're not hungry. Guys. I think this is the end. You know what? Everyone gets some. Everyone gets some. We can't send anyone out now. Now it's just like... We're, it's near the end. We might be safe inside these walls. But there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger. Like sorcerer from men from Mars. I think the end... <laughs> Stay alive in your fall of for 40 days? Jeez. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour of uh, two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. Uh, let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders. A few days of rest will already need. I would really like to eat something. Um, shit. Yeah. All this time... Something, something's missing. Let's see. Fan, hmm, check. Strange noises in our pipes, hmm, check. Hellish yells outside, check. Oh, the Lord hasn't spoken for a while. No, that's it. That's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Chat to each other, please. <coughs> I hope she covered her mouth. Oh, he's better? What? How did he get better? Did he like rest? Talking to Dolores helps resolve of her issues. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Ted has recovered from his illness. Would really love to eat something. Uh, health is not improved. Wow. What? She's hungry? Wow. The state of the wasteland remains unknown. I'm not gonna... Am I gonna send someone? You know what? I'm gonna try. 
When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh air, uh, some fresh radioactive air, and we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There wasn't a note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? No! There's gonna be a bomb. It's the neighbor. The neighbor <laughs> plays pranks. Day 42. Come on, Dolores. You can also bounce back. I believe in you. We have no idea what's left in the, uh, left this. And nowadays you can't trust anybody. We're not risking our life for those. Some supplies, they could be poisoned. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Water is all he needs. Uh, no longer hungry. Has rested. Okay, so water for all. Some of us are keener to go outside than the others. Are we going to risk Dolores? Take their axe with you, Dolores. Leave little old Teddy. Dolores is sick, so she's probably gone now. Did I just make a mistake and doomed this game? There's no way for us to like survive until we all die. We have no means of contacting the military. Uh, do, 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 do. No longer thirsty. Cool. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stamp stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to hunt for some fish, some fresh food. Let's go. What do we have to lose? There was just a gun sound. I don't think we got anything. Too bad we never practiced a shop shooting. Every shot we fired in the direction of those animals uh, that looked like two-headed cows was a miss. Let's hope we'll be uh, on target next time. Okay. You maniacs, you blew it up! Ah, damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. Guys, how am I gonna survive? Dolores is not gonna come back. We've only got Ted! Fond memories are our one thing, but we need to be ready for a harsh reality that awaits us. Yep. Thirsty is hungry. Ted is everything. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have uh, all the same rights. So are we going to slap them or spray them? I'd say spray. I don't know. I do not like spiders. I love looking at them. They're fascinating as hell, but I don't like them. We gained nothing in the process. We just lost everything just now. Oh, we gained a water bottle? If there's one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us uh, uh, climbing up the furniture, it's the bug killing spray. This was the right time to unleash the deadly weapon and the, the results were excellent. We eradicated four, 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. Woo! Ted is still tired. Uh, isn't thirsty and is no longer hungry, Ted is doing just fine. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scuffy bag on his shoulders paid us a visit. He offered a simple one time deal. Uh, we can't see what's inside. I don't care for the cat! <sighs> Let's just get the cat in. I'm giving my last can of soup. Find a new companion. Sherikov! Hey there, buddy. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the back started to violently shake, emitting screeching hell as sounds terrified we backed up. We just basically got the cat. Ted is still not recovering his energy. Okay, we got half a can of soup. We were admiring the radioactive landscapes when we saw a young woman dressed in a ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter tracking a big mutated spider. She ran out of the ammo uh, out of ammo and told us that if we were to help her she would pay us back in in the wall. Ah I don't have ammo. Come on man. Just some luck. How long are we supposed to survive for? This woman says she hunts mostly for food. Clearly she she's an uncivilized savage. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. We were not amused and didn't give her anything. Uh, he's thirsty. I've got plenty of water. We could really use some more supplies. We counted, 
We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from this local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and led them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe and we could really use whatever they have. Didn't I say last time go and raid them and it was bad? I don't remember in one of my previous playthroughs, but let's go. Let's go to the school and see what happens. Woo! All the water in the world, but no soup. Jeez. We had to do this for the family. It, it had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soup, perhaps? Jesus, like it. Four waters. Ted is still tired. No longer thirsty. Now is the time to be thirsty, Ted. Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everybody in our town, including the old man Jim, who would shamble through our street often and always said hello. When we wanted to visit him once, he gave us an ad address. That took us to a park. Old man Jim is a, such a joker. It appears that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now, asking if we want to buy a rock. Let's buy a rock. What have we got to lose? Day 50! Dolores is back with no soup. What did you bring? Bullets? That's what you brought? Oldman Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we, we opened the door and fulfilled the request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is for free, which we were happy to hear. And not sure it's a good thing to have. Okay, whatever. We were able, we were glad to see the Loras come back safely from the wasteland. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew water. <sighs> Guys, I have so much water. Can I just trade the water, please? We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea uh, wave drowned half of it. We were hoping, we were hoping it wasn't the better ha better half. Water, water everywhere, and finding empty bottles to store it, and it was not a problem. The problem was the water we filled them with was kind of salty. The half drowned container in the back was labeled nothing important. It was full of ammo. If a container is full of ammo, why just take one? Hello. It might. Sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Be careful. Uh, hungry. Cured from the illness. Was cured from the illness. Tired. Has not eaten. Share it. And you... We have so much water. Shit. Let's try and send someone out. The last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but may it contain some useful supplies. Shall we make investigate? Go, Ted, go! Get us some soup. Soup, soup, yes! We got soup, guys. Looks like army rations also cons consist mostly of canned tomato soup and bottled water. Unless someone else left these supplies in the indirect tank. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted is no longer hungry and is really thirsty. Yes! Be thirsty! She's hungry. And Doris, the Laura's complaining she still can't, cannot get a good night's sleep around here. Remains thirsty for long. So they're both thirsty. Please, drink all you want, baby. Drink! Wait, 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 wait. Did it say Ted is hungry? No longer hungry. Woo! I almost wasted. Is she hungry? Has not eaten. She's hungry. I. Oh, boy. The children are missing. I'm a bad parent. Guys, day 52. We're surviving. The Loris has not even eaten for a while. And uh, is no longer thirsty. So the Lord just wants to eat. Be thirsty! Despite his need for a nap. Okay, Ted, you're up. We didn't pack any uh, razors when we came down to the shelter. And now some of us are confused with the Sasquatch. A good sharp axe might be a perfect replacement for a razor. Is he like gonna like... Lumber sexual? Oh! 
He shaved with that? Okay. <laughs> looking fresh. Looking fresh, little Ted. With some skill, trimming a beard with an axe turned out to be both possible and quite relaxing. We should do it more often. Um, she is still tired and doesn't sleep. No longer hungry. Doing all right, even though the world has gone to shit. Wow, they're not. They know. They don't need anything. This is going so well. Uh, nothing. I don't have food actually. I need to send someone out. You go out, Ted. Take the axe with you. No. Rifle. Now we're gonna be stuck with the lures. Hopefully it's fine. I'm gonna switch on the fan. I'm. It's so hot. If it makes a noise, my apologies. Whoo! Okay, Dolores. Did it for the surface. Dolores has rested. If there's anything, she just wants water. Yes! Drink it! Today we were visited by a strange looking little man. Flop! I don't have anything to trade for the radio again. How long will this game last? Wow. Play the harmonica. Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, uses and not, we turned down the off man's offer. It probably was for the better. No longer thirsty, has not eaten for a while. Get used to it, honey. Time to ration supplies. Oh, we still have a little bit of food. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes it over us to create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us. No. To sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen. Like a post-apocalyptic Snow White, shall we? Play something, why not? What can you play? Okay, not much. Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started. Moving to the rhythm of the song, they ran around in circles and shook their little antennae. It would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? The Dolores is no longer hungry. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with the address scribble on it. We, uh, could it be its previous owner? Nah. This is the longest I've survived in this game, I think. The Lord, you, like, you look kind of shit, woman. This cat belongs to us now. So what is all the... Sorry, I'm not reading these things. I've read it in my previous stories that that guy was the owner uh, and we said the cat belongs to us now. So clearly it's very fun of us. It's staying and that's final. So she wants water any time, honey. We wish we could just leave sitting down here with barely anything to do. It's driving us crazy. 58 days. That's almost three months. Holy crap. Holy shit. So something has got to give. Look at the cockroaches. What? <laughs> okay. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Dolores is no longer thirsty. This is the shortest day ever. The funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that much trouble. They even seem rel relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning, when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us as if they were waiting for something. Let's play the cockroaches some music! <laughs> Disco Roach. They gave us a can of soup! <laughs> what? If you can't beat them, join them. We figured the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully pray, prancing around again, crea cra yeah. creating fun shapes on the floor. Then all of a sudden, they all left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in, in a group, carrying supplies on their strong mutated backs. Insane! Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusted. Disgusting. Mutated ra radioactive friends. <sighs> we got so much water. Imagine Ted comes back with more supplies. How long can we survive for? Life is hard for, for all of us right now. But Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got more than double the amount of water. Bandits are at the door, promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. It's time to make a stand or surrender. What the hell are you gonna do with that harmonica? Let's defend it! Oh shit, they shot. Don't tell me Dolores is dead. Okay, well, the axe is gone. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. It broke. What is all she wants? You know what? I'm not going to give you something to eat right now. There you go. We always steered away from the ca casinos, gambling, de uh, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us we, he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two-water bottle bet in a card game of our choice sure let's see if we want to lose i've got enough water i can't even tell at the moment if if we lost water <laughs> we got more, more water lady luck has smiled on us we won a vicious game of war the man wasn't too happy about it but he delivered on his promise we got water. It was very unwise to walk right into the hands of a gang of filthy bandits camped nearby. He's not coming back. We lost dead. So it's Dolores and the cat. No radio. No way to get out. What? What is going to happen? Dude. We got eight. Eight bottles. Let's send the Loras out. We've been hearing some st st soft scratchy noises in the shelter at night. We thought it was just the wind, but we were wrong. It's the cat! It's not really doing anything naughty. It seems like it just squeezes through the holes. I'm not gonna go look at what there is. That is basically what's gonna happen. We're gonna go look at what it was. We got a can of soup. Do we get an extra one or do we have the one? Our friendship with Jericho is still fresh and fragile. Following it on the private uh, excursions might break its trust. We want it to feel safe and welcome in our shelter. Plus, it keeps coming back clearly. It can take care of itself. There's something. There's nothing to worry about. The Lord is no longer hungry. Jesus, how long is this going to last? We're at day 62. Guys. <laughs> Damn. We've got the Loras. We've got more than enough water, we've got more than enough soup, and we're probably going to get some more. Dolores is going to go out now. What are we going to find? At this point, I wonder, like, is this just not going to end? What do we send you out with? Suitcase. Why not? Day 62, I think it was. One-way ticket. Die in your fallout shelter. We skipped a couple of days. Oh my god. What happened? That was the quickest ending. I thought we were going to live for days. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. When we tried to get into our shelter, we found another family inside. They were all very convincing with their shotguns and forced us to leave. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We spent 67 days in our shelter. 67 days. Is that long? Is that even really that long? I'm not gonna read all three of these days. <sighs> Damn, dude. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Forced to leave by another family. Damn. Well. You were driven away. We didn't die, so we survived. Days of five sixty-seven. Gee was Items brought from expeditions. Twenty-one items! No, I made a lot of yes decisions. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with this game. I'm happy with that round. Well, as fun as that was, that was very long. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comments or on my Discord channel 
what games would you guys like to see me play next? I've got a bunch that I've actually just recently bought for YouTube and I've actually been enjoying Factorio. If you want to see me play Factorio, let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.